Malaysia lebih baik daripada Amerika karena yang pertama adalah pemimpinnya guys ya pemimpin Malaysia dan pemimpin yang ada di Amerika itu lebih baik di Malaysia Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa lagi dengan saya guys Cak Mujib Gimana kabar teman-teman semua Semoga sehat selalu dalam lindungan Allah SWT Dijauhkan dari segala mara bahaya Malapetaka bencana dan bala Serta berbagai macam penyakit Amin amin ya rabbal alamin Alright guys kali ini kita akan mereaksi sebuah video ya Requestan daripada teman-teman sekalian di IG ini ya teman-teman Nah langsung saja kita play videonya guys Let's go So we've been in Malaysia on and off for about four months now, and we noticed some major differences between America and Malaysia. So based on our experience, we'll be giving you guys a thousand reasons why America is better than Malaysia. Wait a minute, America better than what? Oh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Malaysia is better than America. I can't believe I just said that. Let's get into the video. Let's get into it. Reason number one is the diversity here in Malaysia. Here in Malaysia, you have the Japanese, the Chinese, the Malaysians, of course. You have the Indians. Indians. It's, it's all over, and yeah. it's like they're together. It's not like America. America is diverse, too, but over here, it's like everybody is a, come from a different part of the world, but they're all a family, all together. Yes, everybody comes together, no matter what race they are, and they come together as a community. And, you know, they just make everything work properly. Yeah. And that's one thing that we really noticed about Malaysia, that it's so beautiful. All the different cultures coming together as one. So reason number two why Malaysia is way better than America is security. I'm big on safety because a lot of things have happened to me in America that I don't want to talk about, but let's just say I'm big on my security and safety. Here in Malaysia, the security officers are literally everywhere. The malls, the grocery stores, the schools, they're everywhere in their own duty. They're not just doing it for a paycheck like in America. America, you will see security guards and stuff, but they're really just there to get paid and leave. They don't care about you. They don't care about your well-being, none of that stuff, but here they actually care and take care of their country. Yes. In America, it was plenty of times where we had issues with, you know, even down to the residencies. Mm -hmm. When they had security in the residencies here, we were like, wow, it is so amazing. Because in America, they really don't care about people's yeah. safety. And that's something that we're real big, we're real big on. Mm -hmm. So it's very appreciated that you guys have that security in your country. And it's like no matter what time you go outside, you can go outside and ride a scooter at 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. The security will be outside standing on duty watching and make sure everybody is safe and good. So the safety here is like beyond crazy. It's like great, it's yes. to the moon. So we love that about Malaysia a lot. And another thing about security being in every place, um, currently in America, it's been multiple mass shootings in schools, churches, everywhere. And it's just crazy because over there in America, you can't even breathe and live without watching your back and being scared of your safety. You have to pray before going to school and church there to make it home safely. But here, you don't hear about no school shootings, no church shootings, mm. none of that stuff. Everybody here is peaceful and on the same terms, so that's perfect. Yes, and currently, if you notice some of the clips that we're going to insert, there are literally kids protesting in the state of Tennessee in America now because they're in fear of their safety when they're going to school. Who wants to go to school and worry about their safety? That's you know? crazy. That's just crazy. And they just normalize it. They just... Of course, people be like, RIP to them, let's start donations and fundraisers, but that's really not helping anything. So I admire that about Malaysia because if something happens, they're going to put an end to it right away and it's never going to happen again because their laws here are strict. And if you do something out of hand, trust me, it won't You're going to get well. dealt with. It's not going to end well. Ain't no two years, three years, You're you might end up dead. So yeah, yeah they abide by the rules here for sure. All right, so that reason leads us to reason number three, which is the government does not care about their people in America. And what we mean by that is, just like how we just previously stated, but whenever something wrong happens in America, the law system is so twisted that people can literally shoot and kill somebody and get away with it yeah. and literally get bonded out of jail. Like, that is just crazy to me, just to know that they can just, oh, I'm going to jail anyway, I'm mm -hmm. going to go do it again. So And it's, it's easier for the criminals already because they've been in and out of prison or jail. So they just like, oh, I can kill these people and just go to prison. I was just there. My uncle's there. My cousin's there. I'm happy. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. They get to live still. If you kill somebody, number one rule is you should end up dead too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it is. So. That's okay. crazy. And not even just about the law system. It's all the way down to um, 
the government hiding secrets um, oh. all the way down to the food. It's just crazy because like in America, why don't we have seeds in our fruits? Like that's just insane to me. Yeah. Like uh, we get we get fed GMO foods, which is basically fake food that was in a lab, fake fruits. It's just like nothing. everything is just like a game there. Like I don't yes. know. It's like they built the Sims game. This is the yeah. Sims game right here. And it's like they just recreating it, so it's kind of crazy. It's just insane. But since being in Malaysia, yeah. it feels like we actually get to really live life. Mm -hmm. And we actually get to feel what it feels like to actually live and enjoy the people around you. And, and not... be at peace, too. Yeah, just peace. All right, on to reason number four is the hospitality. Here, it's like if you go outside, you wouldn't notice if somebody's totally not related to you. Like, everybody treats everybody like family, regardless if you're a foreigner, regardless if you're yeah. a local. It's just like, everybody feels like family, and if you need help, they're gonna help you. Like, it's like, they're not gonna be like, oh my gosh, foreigner, da da da. Not gonna get, you, not gonna get anything wrong, but um, everybody here is very shy, mm -hmm. but once you speak to them, they come out of their shell like it's nothing. So. We feel very comfortable here and you know, everybody here is nice. And, and another like, thing is we're going to the river of life and we seen a car wreck. In America, if you see a car wreck, people normally record their, record the video so they can get fame off social media. They drive by you, I don't want to help them, I'm good, I got somewhere to go. Yeah. Here we seen a car wreck and it was a lot of citizens just helping them. They were doing this, they were just helping them yeah. because I mean, that's what they do. They're like family so they were helping them, aiding them more than a um, Doctor Wood. Exactly. It was crazy. Everybody was giving them water, massaging them and stuff. Are you okay? It was a good thing to see. Exactly. Here you just feel that community feeling mm -hmm. and everything. And one day, um, we were just out strolling on, where were we at? Merdeka Square. Yeah. And we know that it's Ramadan season. So this is something cool that we experienced. We saw, like, it looked like a million, but it probably wasn't. But yeah. it looked like a lot of people were just, you know, crowded in the streets of Malaysia. Sitting down eating picnic stuff. Exactly, so it was, was pretty crazy. cool. Everybody had their own little meals. It was quiet, mm -hmm. but it was like, you could hear a small chatter, but it's like everybody was just enjoying themselves, not hooping and hollering. In America, but, it would have been a fight, a riot, some would have been Yes, happening. it would have been crazy, but it's very beautiful to see your country mm -hmm. come together on such beautiful holidays. And it make, actually makes us want to, you know, partake in those holidays that you guys have. Exactly. The next reason why Malaysia is better, um, this falls along with you, with the government, I guess. But in America, they promote so much violence, so much crime, negativity. so much negativity. Like, Aww. you can turn on the news right now or YouTube America. I swear you will see something about a killing, a school shooting, a rapper rapping about, um, I'm just going to be real, sex or killing. Or drugs. Or drugs. It's just crazy. Like, why are they promoting? Why does America they promote, promote so much? Yeah, promote negativity. this negativity, this, you know... And, it, and it's sad because the next generation is looking up to that. Mm -hmm. That's like the role models that yeah. uh, that kids have nowadays. It's like we don't really have a, a true leader like you guys have in Malaysia. Like we noticed, um, we've seen some videos about people actually meeting the king in Malaysia. Yeah. And that was super cool to see and we would love to have that experience. So if we do have that experience, that would be It'll awesome. be a blessing. That'll be a blessing for real. But yeah, America push out so much negativity. Like you can see a two year old there rapping a song about violence and crime and drugs and it's like wow mm -hmm. and the parents sit there and be like oh why are our kids bad why are they killing each other it's because they promote negativity exactly. so you much you would never see a kid doing that here in malaysia you don't see nothing about negativity mm -hmm. you don't at all all right y'all so we're going to end that video right here it's so much stuff we could talk about but that's for another time um just know that malaysia will welcome you with open arms they will treat you like family the hospitality is there the love, the culture, everything is there. So if you're thinking about coming to Malaysia for a trip, I highly recommend it because you won't be disappointed. If you have any thoughts or comments, make sure you comment down below, whether it's positive or negative, because we want to hear what you guys have to say. And without further ado, that'll be the end of this video. We love you guys and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. All right guys, Malaysia lebih baik daripada Amerika, daripada UK, kan? Kenapa begitu? Karena yang pertama adalah pemimpinnya, guys ya. Pemimpin Malaysia dan pemimpin yang ada di Amerika itu lebih baik di Malaysia karena 
di Malaysia nyaman dan juga istilahnya membuat orang yang tinggal di sana itu senang, aman seperti itu. Sedangkan di Amerika pemimpinnya mengajarkan hal-hal negatif, mengajak kepada masyarakatnya untuk berbuat kejahatan dan juga seksual. Wow, itulah kenapa seribu alasan Malaysia lebih baik daripada UK ataupun Amerika. Wow. Oke okay guys, itu saja video kali ini. Terima kasih sudah tengok video ini sampai selesai. Jadi yang disampaikan oleh Mina Saleh dan juga Mat Salehnya tadi bahwasanya Malaysia adalah tempat yang nyaman, yang enak untuk kita tinggal karena sistem keamanan, pemerintahnya, masyarakatnya semua memang terbaik. Memang di Malaysia banyak kaum dan lain sebagainya, tapi di sana adalah tempat yang nyaman katanya guys. Wow, keren banget ya. Oke itu saja video kali ini Terima kasih sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya Apabila ada salah kata mohon dimaafkan Saya pamit untuk diri Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearrange